Come on along again for another episode on the Cobra Daytona build. On this episode, we are going to be installing our lower control arms. You can actually see they're already installed, uh, but I'm actually going to put up the video now, so I kind of go back and forth. Sometimes it's a little hard to keep up with building and videotaping. So I do the best I can, but uh, definitely come on along. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe, and uh, hopefully you pick up some good tips on how to get these things installed. Thanks. Okay, so we got our lower controller on, control arm ready to go in. Um, so we're going to get this thing mounted. Uh, I'm going to pre-grease this thing. Uh, the upper's already been greased. As I said, I greased those when I took them all apart and painted them and put them back together. Uh, but the lowers, I took apart, cut those grooves in it. So now I'm going to pull the metal sleeves out. And uh, I'm going to throw a bunch of grease in here. I said we'll grease it again but I just want to get a nice start to it okay and then I uh, this is actually the dirtiest part of probably put one of these things together is when you got to grease things because other than that if you buy all new parts you don't buy the donor kit uh, it's really nice because I've built cars uh, you know restored them done all that kind of stuff and uh, that's the worst, is it's always the... And then we'll put a little under there. Okay. Okay, we got it all greased up. Put the lid back on the can. Oh, get my fingers clean now. Oh, we forgot to throw a little grease on the pin. My bad. I just do this just to make sure that... Because if you don't get grease on one of these spots, get some water in there, you're going to have some rust, and this just kind of protects them. I should drive a bunch of grease out there. Okay, now we're ready to install these things. Okay, let's see if I can get all grease off my hands. Now sometimes you've got to bend these tabs. People make, um, they use a piece of like all thread with nuts on it and they'll push these things out. You can hit them with a hammer. There's all sorts of ways of doing it. So we might, uh, as I said, we might have a problem with that right now, but let's hope not. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, we're golden. I like to see that when it just kind of slides right in. Okay. Okay, so we've got a space here, which we've got washers, so we need to fill that space up. And there's washers in the kit to do that. You can see, I don't know if you can see right in there, a little gap. If we crush that together, these things are gonna bend inward. Not, not good mojo. So instead, we'll uh, grab that washer, figure out why these things aren't going all the way through. Okay. Okay, so we're looking pretty good now. So I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess grease from sliding that thing in. See, and this is where you can see the paint, uh, this clear coat, and you get a little bit of grease handprints on it. It just wipes right off, just like a car finish. That clear coat's it's really good, it's really nice to keep clean. So let's see if we can tap this one. Yep. We're gonna clean that nut off. The bolt off, I mean, sorry. Okay, and then I got a nut here somewhere. There we go. And that goes up and down, nice and easy. So we'll torque these. I don't know what they torque to, I'll have to go look at the manual. Um, but yeah, you can see just a slight little bit of play in there. That'll squeeze it together. And uh, we should be good to go. 
These get torqued uh, 100 and to 110 feet pounds. I don't want to let this get scratched. I'm going to put my shoe underneath that thing. So just trying to get it snugged up. Now the control arm still should move very easy because it's moving on that bushing. The bushing is what this thing's collapsing on, that, that metal tube in the middle. So it should not affect the control arm. So, which it is not. It's still moved up and down quite nicely. So we're gonna do the same thing um, with this lower control arm. We'll grease it, bolt it up. I'm not gonna go through it again. Uh, you saw the one side. This side is basically just a, a mirror image. So it's uh, not worth it to do it all again. So we'll just uh, do this and uh, that's about it. Well, as you can see, I got the upper and lower control arms in, bolted up, uh, looking good. I got this one wired, that's why it's kind of at a weird angle, just so it's out of the way. Uh, the lowers are quite a bit stiffer than the uppers. I'm guessing that's the way it should be, but uh, another project done. So thank you again for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Uh, we got a gas tank install we did uh, the episode before this. I don't know what we're going to do after this. This said, I'm waiting on parts, so we'll see. But thanks again. Hit subscribe if you like it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.